down. Stop. Stop, man. Just let me out. Let me out. Stop. Stop, bro. Shoot. Intense body camera video shows the moments before, during, and after the police shooting of a 17-year-old boy in Washington, D.C. This deadly shooting came just seconds before the boy crashed his vehicle into a building. It happened on March 18th near the River Terrace Federal Park. U.S. Park Police got a call for a suspicious vehicle. When they arrived, they found a boy later identified as 17-year-old Delanio Martin asleep in the vehicle. We're at a little bit of a bind because so the car comes. The car I'm gonna I'll pull up so I don't have to see. Sleep. Body camera video shows officials from both the United States Park Police and Metropolitan Police Department responding to the scene. We can do it the safest way possible, but I mean, I'm, we're not going to take the arrest for it. No, 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 so, no. Yeah, yeah I'll block them in. Yeah, I'll block them in so you guys don't have to worry about it. It's that SUV all the way up there. It's the, it's the, the silver Hyundai yeah. in front of the red. Yeah, so I can. Um, I it's a red Ford or Hyundai. Yeah, oh, yeah. So I can, I can slow roll and get right in front of them whenever you guys are ready. Uh -huh. Officers can be heard working to determine whether the vehicle is stolen. I think we just got to in, so we're going to confirm yeah, whether yeah, yeah. it's truly stolen first. I think we, my uh, officer said when he put it out, the ignition's punched. Yes, so he's so asleep, the ignition's punched, and the tag comes back we, to it. Later, officers confirm the vehicle is stolen. It's, it's just plain stolen, not like It's stolen, stolen, yeah. I was making sure, like, it was a felony vehicle. No, it's, it's a stolen like, vehicle. For more than 15 minutes, officers discuss plans for how to best move forward. So you want to break up the window? I'll, I'll, well, I don't have a problem boxing in. If we're going to break out the window and you come out, I'm not worried about if the vehicle is off especially, just for safety purposes, I'll stop his avenue of retreat. Officials eventually decide to enter the vehicle through the rear passenger window that is covered with plastic. There's the, there's the tape over the window we could cut and try and avoid. Here's what I'm saying. The back window is already broken. It's got yeah. a piece of plastic. Yeah. Carefully, I can cut it out. I'll lock the door from the exterior. I'm fine with that. Yeah, if the door opens quietly, he's still knocked out, then I'll move away. Somebody just has to jack him. He's got his hands up. So the last guy, to too, use, uh, him and I will yank him out. Um, or do you want to, who wants to be, do you want to be hands well, guy? My other question is, have we looked to see if it's in drive or park? And is it it's still important. running? Is it still running? It's running. Okay. Because I, I saw it running earlier, but then I didn't see the... the no, it's running. running. It's in park. So, he's knocked out. Like, he's literally moving no, out. Yeah. So, like, I just want to make sure that we don't have anyone on our end or your end mm -hmm. that if he, like, throws it in drive, yeah. it's a foot run over or side swipe or he throws it in reverse. Officers can be heard discussing what would happen if Martin drove off advising each other not to, quote, get caught inside that car. He's got a phone on, he's got a, he's got a phone on his lap. He does have his left hand, which is good for us, mm -hmm. inside his waistline, you know, but I don't see anything on there. So if we can just secure that hand, yeah. quickly get in there, leave space, we can do that. And if he takes off, he takes off, but yeah. just don't get caught inside of that car. You so know? After about 16 minutes of discussion, officials approach the vehicle. Body camera video shows an officer cutting through the plastic to unlock the car door. Moments after an officer opens the rear passenger door, another officer enters the vehicle. Police! Don't move! 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 There is a commotion as Martin drives off. After calling for him to stop the vehicle, the officer opens fire. Stop! Stop, man! Just let me out! Let me out! Stop! Stop, bro! Shoot! Seconds later, the vehicle crashes into a building. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Don't move! Don't move! Five twelve. Don't move! More officers quickly arrive to the scene and work to remove Martin from the vehicle. 
Hey, he's breathing. Yeah, I know he is. Hey, you got uh, you got something I can put on? I can apply pressure. I just need a kit. Hey, there's a kit in. Yeah, give me a kit. Responding officers performed life-saving measures, but Martin died on the scene. The shooting is under investigation by the U.S. Park Police and the D.C. Police Internal Affairs Division. The U.S. Attorney's Office is also conducting a civil rights investigation. Right now, all the officers involved in the shooting are still on active duty. Martin's family has called for all of them to be named publicly, fired, and later prosecuted. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.